Greetings everyone, Dr. Brian Scott with you. Another week and another episode of Insights to the End Times. We began almost a year ago to share where we were on God's end time timetable. You know, the end of the age, the end of the world. The Bible refers to it. It doesn't tell us exactly when it will occur, but it does give us a lot of signs as to what will be going on just before it occurs. And that's what inspired us to uh, begin sharing insights to the end times with you. If you've never, or if you have uh, just recently joined us and you want to look at some of our past episodes, you can go to our website, insightstotheendtimes.com, and you'll find all of our previous episodes. This is week number 49. We share six times a week, Monday through Saturday. So today is episode number 289, if you can believe that. We are looking at the Bible signs, Bible verses that tell us where we might be on God's timetable. We're getting close to the end and uh, we want to be prepared for it. So um, <clears throat> natural events in the world all around us are showing us how close we are getting. Today we're studying in the book of 1 Timothy chapter four. This is a letter written by the apostle Paul to the pastor Timothy who pastored the church in Ephesus, one of the first New Testament churches. He is saying to him in 1 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1, Now the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, expressly says that in latter times, some believers will depart from the faith. They will give heed to deceiving spirits and doctrines of demons. That's New King James. King James says they'll give heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. The New Living Translation is pretty cool. It says, now the Holy Spirit tells us very clearly that in the last times, some will turn away from the true faith. They will follow to see deceptive spirits and the teachings that come from demons. Uh, we are going to look at what this verse is all about because it's talking about deception and deceiving spirits and demonic doctrines which seem to have permeated our society and our churches and our uh, beliefs more so than ever before. In Matthew 24, Jesus is uh, sharing with his disciples uh, answers to their three questions that they asked him. This is known as the apocalyptic chapter, the chapter that deals with end time events or the apocalypse. And in uh, the very first part of this uh, chapter, his disciples say to him, Tell us, when will these things be? And what will be the sign of uh, your coming? And what will be the signs of the end of the age? So three questions, primarily asking him, when will the end be? And what will be the sign of your return? What will be the sign of the end of the age? So Jesus begins answering them. His very first response is in verse number four. He says, take heed that no one deceives you. Imagine that, the very first thing out of his mouth in terms of when will the end, end come is don't let deception get a hold of you. Verse number five, he says, many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and they will deceive many. Or we could say it this way, many will say that I'm a Christian and they'll deceive many. And then in verse number 11, he says, many false prophets will arise and they will deceive many. Pretty heavy duty stuff. So we see here that the number one sign of the end will be deception. All kinds of deception in the land. It will be worldwide. Yes, it will. Uh, deception means to wander off course. It really means, in the, from a Greek perspective, the Greek uh, words that were used in those days, it refers to individual people or even countries and nations who had a set of beliefs and they wander off and they end up going off their, their strongly held beliefs in God, in Christianity, in morals, in ethics, and they end up in darkness. And when they do, that's unpredictable land and it's very dangerous, let me tell you. So deception or to be deceived infers that someone was walk, walking with strong beliefs in a strong moral compass I have to throw that in because that's one of the biggest signs that we are facing uh, is a change in morality. So they had a strong moral compass in the past, but they have now deviated and wandered and they have strayed off course. And now they're adopting other standards and other 
other um, uh, beliefs that they never would have even thought about in the past. So they're moving from, from uh, their position of strength and, and morality and so on into an area of darkness, a dangerous location, obviously. When Jesus spoke about it here in Matthew 24, he started off talking about people in general in verse 4, then Christian people in verse 5, and then ministry people in verse 11. So it's going to span every dimension whatsoever. This deception is going to be one of the telltale signs of the very end. Now, let me share it this way. Deception moves at a person, deception means that a person moves from light into darkness. Now, salvation, on the other hand, uh, hook, uh, you know, becoming a born-again believer in Jesus Christ, asking him to forgive your sins and living for him takes you from darkness into light. So they're, exact, they're extreme opposites. This deception's going to be the first and foremost sign that we'll see, and I'm going to share more with you this week on how it's working, where it's working, and how it's really causing damage in people's beliefs. Look forward to seeing you later in the week. Call you blessed. See you tomorrow. Bye.